Have you ever thought about the power of social media? Social media has the power to make your business grow. Grow! Yeah. Why don't you let us manage your social media? Because our business is to see your business grow. Visit us at www.beastdownmedia.co.za SOS Children's Villages is a global charity with a local heart. They work with children who are orphaned, abandoned and whose families are unable to take care of them. Social TV visited their office in Woodmere, Johannesburg and sat down with the MD, Stephen Miller, who told us more about what they do. At SOS Children's Villages, we're um, all about the family. We believe that every child should grow up in a family uh, with love, respect and security. So what we try to do as an organisation is to provide a home for children who are abandoned or neglected or abused. And we do this in uh, the children's village. So essentially in the South African context, it's a child and youth care centre. So it's a place where these children come to us through the courts um, and we provide a home. We have what we call a mother who is a child and youth care worker and that mother is there 24-7. So she becomes the mother of these children in the village. There's normally about six or eight of them in a house and there's normally between 10 to 15 houses in a village. And she provides that continuity and that love and that respect that these children really need. Um, as an organization working in this field, what we're always trying to do is reunite those children where possible with their biological families. So this, a child and youth care center should always be a place of last resort and it should always be temporary. I started my career, as it were, in development about 15 years ago. Um, I started life as a teacher and I wanted to do uh, meaningful work eh? and uh, I found that as a teacher but it wasn't enough so I, uh, I, I volunteered and I went and, and taught in the north of Namibia on the border of Angola uh, and I trained teachers there in a cluster of schools and that, that started me working in development and from there I went to Liberia and, and to a number of other countries and I'm a manager by profession, that's what I do, I have a master's in management, but uh, children have always been of interest to me. They're the most vulnerable members of our society. I have a daughter, she's an incredibly tenacious little girl and she's so confident and bold, but she's so fragile. And the conditions that some children grow up in, it's unimaginable what we see at SOS. What we try to do in our, in our programs, we have our child and youth care centres. So as I described earlier, these are places where children who have nowhere else to go uh, come to us through the courts. And generally we have between 100 to 150 children in each village. In these villages we provide all sorts of assistance to those children. Obviously from an educational point of view we ensure that they go to good schools, we ensure that they're healthy, that they get the right nutrition. We have all sorts of interventions to enable them to know what their rights are, to enable them to uh, report on child protection issues, to then enable them to deal with drug related issues which are a big problem in some of our programs. So we have all of these therapeutic prevention care programs that are happening within that village. And then outside of that we have people, community development workers, and we work with community structures. Because eh? again, we're a non-profit organization, an international one. And for us to come into a community, let's say like Matanjani, uh, where I was quite recently, to, for us to come into that and to assume that we could somehow fix the issues is very presumptuous and an impossibility. It's not possible. We have certain skills and we have resources, but we have to work with the local community.
Even though we're a childcare organization, we want to be thinking about where are these children going. And it's not just in terms of getting a good job at an accountancy firm and earning a lot of money. That's great for everyone, hey? But uh, poverty is multidimensional. It has many facets. For us at SOS, we're all about the family. If we can produce people that are now going to be good parents, good mothers, good fathers to their children, for me, that's a success. Eh? So we focus on that as well, not just the economic side of things. So you'll see a lot more of that. And finally, uh, a lot more of us working in communities. I think that's also a sustainable way to go. Any NPO that you interview as well, eh? any NPO that isn't trying to work itself out of a job, uh, there's a problem. So at SOS Children's Villages, we do not intend to be in these program areas indefinitely. That is not the plan. The plan, ultimately, is to withdraw ourselves. Eh? So it's about building capacity in communities, community structures, helping them to become financially viable, helping them to develop their own vision, their own mission, uh, their own constitutions, developing these organizations so that they, in turn, can start to look after the children in their community and SOS can remove itself. For more exclusive content, log on to www.social-tv.co.za. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Social TV, like our Facebook page, at Social TV, and follow us on Twitter, at Social1TV.